ESPN just the other day laid off about 20 members of its on-air talent. I titled this Change Happened. More to come. Because, as you all know, I work at ESPN. My day job is first take. NBA Countdown 2, NBA Stephen A's World, all of that stuff, but mainly first take. And there are a lot of people um, who got laid off. Friends of mine, actually. Definitely respected colleagues who've done a phenomenal job and deserved better. But it's not Disney or ESPN that they deserved better from. They deserved better from than the times we're living in. A lot of people don't want to see that and they don't want to appreciate that. But those are people rife with emotion, some justifiably, obviously. But are not paying enough attention to the dollars. Right here on this podcast. When Disney announced that 7,000 layoffs were coming, everybody associated with ESPN knew this day would arrive. Folks as individuals were hoping it just wasn't them. To see Jalen Rose gone, my brother, done an outstanding job for us covering the NBA for years. Got a lot of love for that brother. A lot of the great work he's done over the years. What he's represented for the company. I'm going to miss him. Jalen Rose has always been good to me. And I loved working with him on NBA Countdown. He is a brilliant, brilliant basketball mind. He is somebody that worked his ass off all the time. There was never an assignment he backed away from. There was never a time he didn't want to work. And my heart goes out to him for being one of these cuts after his exceptional run at ESPN. Jeff Van Gundy's another. You don't get labeled as a part of the A team. Unless you're an A-teamer. That was Jeff Van Gundy, former head coach of the New York Knicks, former head coach of the Houston Rockets. Outstanding, brilliant basketball analyst for ESPN for years. I could say I'm going to miss him, but I just can't imagine he's going to be out of work for long. I'm sure I'll see him on the air doing his thing. Him and Mark Jackson with Mike Breen, without question, the A-team. Guys that I was proud to call colleagues and still am and always will be. Mike Breen, a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest to ever do what he's done as a play-by-play guy. As far as I'm concerned, Jeff Van Gundy's been a Hall of Fame analyst and commentator. I believe Mark Jackson to be the same. But we're going to have to sit up here, along with very many others. Okay, Neil Everett from SportsCenter, Ashley Brewer from SportsCenter, You know, my brother Keyshawn Johnson, my brother. Now, I know him on a far more personal level than I know many others. We've been friends for over 20 years. Um, I'm sad to see him go. I think he'll be fine. Keyshawn Johnson is a businessman extraordinaire. He knows how to make money, knows how to get money, and he is not phased. He is fine. I spoke to him over the weekend. He's fine. But I personally am going to miss him because of his contribution to First Take. What he has done for me, what he's done for my life, just being a big brother and a friend of me. I love him to death. And I know he's going to be fine. There's various others, and I don't want to mention everybody because I don't want to forget anybody's name. But those names certainly come to mind. I'm even going to mention Max Kellerman. I know y'all thought I wouldn't. 
I am not happy that he is gone. We all know what history we had. We all know what happened with he and I parting ways on first take. I don't want the brother unemployed. I want him gainfully employed. I want him having a job and a career. And that brother knows his box and inside is out as smart as a whip and has been around a long time. I wish him no ill will. And a matter of fact, although I sincerely doubt he ever will, if he ever called me needing my help, I would not hesitate to help him. Just because I don't want to work with you directly in a debate show doesn't mean I didn't want to work with you. Doesn't mean I couldn't have worked with him covering a boxing match. Doesn't mean I couldn't have worked with him covering a UFC match. Doesn't mean I could have worked with him doing Sports Center, a Sports Center segment, or somebody else. I'm just talking about a two hour debate show. I wanted a different partner. That's all. I wish the brother nothing but the best. But if we're going to be real about it, Let's deal with reality. This ain't the end. More is coming. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I could be next. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ever, ever, ever in your life as a black person take anything for granted I told you before when black folks when white folks catch a cold black folks catch pneumonia Daniel Everett's are gone the Jeff Van Gundy's are gone the uh, you know David Pollock outstanding football college football analyst love him he was one of the casualties Todd McShay College football analyst extraordinaire, especially for the NFL draft. He's been late. He's part of the casualties. Love him. You didn't think black folks was going to be on the list, too? That's always the case. And the one thing that I can tell you about Stephen A., this ain't 2009. I really didn't see it coming. My eyes are always wide open now. I'm never comfortable. I never take anything for granted and I never assume that I'm safe. And first takes number one and been number one for 11 and a half plus years. 